Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 17th of August 1807, the world's first successful commercial steamboat service began on the Hudson River between New York and Albany. Experiments with steamboats had accelerated in the last half of the 18th century. The enormous Newcomen steam engine was found to be impractical for ships, but the invention of the Bolton and Watt engine laid the foundations for the development of boilers and other components that could withstand higher internal pressure. In America, inventor John Fitch had sailed a steamboat on the Delaware River as early as 1787. However, it was commercially unsuccessful, and Fitch was forced to abandon further developments. Meanwhile, European improvements to steamship design led to the launch of the Charlotte Dundas in 1803, which was successfully tested on the Forth and Clyde Canal in Scotland. Present at the trials of the Charlotte Dundas was Robert Fulton, an American inventor who later moved to France where he met the US ambassador Robert R. Livingston. They unsuccessfully tested a steamship on the River Seine, but continued their partnership after Fulton returned to America in 1806, where Livingston had the monopoly to steam navigation on the Hudson River. On the 17th of August 1807, the North River Steamboat of Claremont departed New York City under the control of Captain Andrew Brink. The ship could carry up to 100 passengers and was able to complete the 150-mile trip in 32 hours. This was a dramatic improvement over regular sailing ships that might take almost four days to complete the same journey. Although it was nicknamed Fulton's Folly due to the belief that the noisy vessel would eventually explode, the ship began scheduled passenger services on September the 4th and became a commercial success. Thank you.